Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us today. On behalf of Atrium Health, it is my honor to share some exciting news regarding our innovation district, which will serve as a major economic engine for the greater Charlotte region and beyond. As we have shared over the past year, our goal from the very beginning has been to create a nationally recognized center with a hometown feel where learners, researchers, and small business owners from all backgrounds can grow together right here in Charlotte. And we've made big plans for this space. And when we break ground later this year, we'll be launching the construction of a multitude of exciting projects. This includes the newly minted Howard R. Levine Center for Education, which will house four game-changing academic programs for learners of all degree levels, and the district's very first research building, which will grow new and innovative health science businesses into the core companies of Charlotte's future. But to think about our future is also to remember our past. That is why it's important to highlight that this new district will be constructed in an area of Charlotte that was formerly known as Brooklyn, which was for years a city within a city where thriving African-American businesses, faith communities, and families lived, worked, and played. Brooklyn was also nestled nearby Good Samaritan Hospital in Charlotte's third ward, an African-American hospital comprised of hundreds of doctors, of nurses, of healthcare workers, all of whom took great pride in caring for their community. In addition, Brooklyn was, and still is, home to Pearl Park, the first African-American park in Charlotte that remains a well-loved landmark and gathering place to this day. In the 1950s and 60s, however, Brooklyn fell victim to urban renewal, meaning that over 1,000 families were displaced and over 1,400 structures were demolished, including more than 200 businesses and 12 churches. While today we strive to build a community that's full of new growth and excitement, it's critical that we recognize the rich history in which the site for our innovation district lays down roots. It's one that many might say has largely been overlooked. But we're here now to begin a new chapter of the story to honor this special place as we empower the neighborhoods around it, shaped by diverse people and perspectives, rooted in inclusivity and belonging, and filled with endless potential. For these reasons, I am pleased to share that Charlotte's new innovation district will henceforth be known as the Pearl a neighborhood where Charlotte's historic vitality meets its innovative future, a place where excellence lives and excellence is learned. In preparing for this announcement, I found myself thinking about the creation of pearls and how that relates to the journey ahead. Through a little research, I was reminded that it takes a great deal of time, of energy, and determination to create a pearl in its natural environment. What's more, pearls are composed of calcium carbonate, which helps strengthen our own bones, muscles, hearts, and nervous systems. So just like the pearl, our journey to build an innovation district will no doubt require time, it will require energy and determination. However, with the support of our friends and partners at the city, county, and state, we will create, together, the crowning jewel of the Queen City. So with today's launch of the Pearl, I also want to emphasize the strong connection we will have with our innovation quarter in Winston-Salem. The Pearl and IQ will both be home to Wake Forest School of Medicine We'll both have access to Atrium Health's broad clinical and research base, and we'll both have inclusive economic mobility as our key focus area. In short, when we grow together, we go farther together, not just as innovation districts, but as one community. With that, thank you again to all of our partners and supporters who have helped make this day a reality 
as we unveil the pearl. I once lived in the neighborhood called Brooklyn and spent a lot of my time at the well-known Pearl Street Park. One of the things that I remember is Brooklyn was an entity in itself. Everything we needed was in our community, except for the hospital. And so growing up in Brooklyn was like a self-sustained entity. It was the Black Wall Street. I like the idea that we came up with the pearl because when you think about a pearl, the things that a pearl goes through to become a pearl, and the things that we went through, our forefathers and persons who went on before us, went through to get us to this point, and we still survive. And even though we've been crushed, we may have been knocked down, but we still rise. I believe that the Innovation District has the potential and possibilities for great things, such as scholarships with various education requirements, opportunities for jobs and for startup businesses. I also believe that there is prospective potential to do great things for our city and our region. I'm very hopeful and optimistic that the future of the Innovation District will be beneficial to our community, especially the black and brown community. And I look forward to what the Innovation District is going to do as a convener, as a collaborator, but most importantly, as a partner. Hello, I'm George Dunlap, Chairman of the Mecklenburg Board of County Commissioners. I'm extremely proud and excited about the new Innovation District in our community, which we are supporting with our partners, Atrium Health and the City of Charlotte. This Innovation District will expand educational opportunities, including scholarships for those in underserved communities, as well as growth for small, minority-owned businesses, affordable housing opportunities, and significant local, regional, and statewide economic development. I'm especially proud of the new name, The Pearl, since it honors Pearl Street Park and its rich history serving the Black community for decades. Pearl Street was recently renovated and rededicated and is a flagship among our park facilities. Please join me in celebration of another milestone in our ever-changing upward economic growth as we welcome this Pearl to Mecklenburg County. As many of you are aware, Charlotte is a city experiencing tremendous growth. While we have established a reputation as a financial stronghold, we're excited about expanding our footprint into technology and healthcare industries. The Pearl is a transformative enterprise for our entire region offering the highest quality education and unbridled innovation all right here as we grow together. I am extremely excited about the future of the Pearl and the planning in place to recognize and honor the rich history of the surrounding neighborhood. As a strong public-private partnership, the Pearl will be a new crown for the Queen City bringing new jobs, investments, and opportunity. Innovation districts like the Pearl in Charlotte combine university and medical research with corporate innovation and commercial activity. They create startup companies and entrepreneurial engagement, and they provide for social inclusion and economic mobility. They are, at their very core, engines of municipal, social, cultural, workforce, and community impact. The Pearl's very name harkens back to the proud history of this area of Brooklyn, where now the Wake Forest University School of Medicine will combine with Atrium Health to anchor a new innovation district that will create opportunities not just in Charlotte and Mecklenburg County, but across the region. They'll gather new companies to come together with the talent in the Charlotte area to create the next generation of medical, health, life sciences, and technology, products, services, devices, 
and solutions. Innovation districts don't exist in isolation. They can be important drivers of regional and state economies. There's a unique opportunity here. With Innovation Quarter, just up the road in Winston-Salem, there is, for the first time in North America, a common university and school of medicine partner, Wake Forest, a common clinical partner, Atrium Health, common programming, common entrepreneurial resources in two cities so that research can go to scale in Charlotte and in Winston-Salem, acting as a super corridor of opportunity and engagement. The Pearl is going to provide, as it evolves, tremendous opportunities for all in Charlotte and Mecklenburg County. It will start to become a front yard for the community, providing new programming, new amenities, new gathering places, and new workforce opportunities for all. Today marks such an important milestone as we announce that the Pearl is joining our growing innovation family. The Pearl is Charlotte's new innovation district and will also be home to our Wake Forest University School of Medicine campus in Charlotte. When we combined with Atrium Health, we imagined creating a corridor that would strategically connect our innovation quarter in Winston-Salem with a vibrant innovation community in Charlotte, and Wake Forest University School of Medicine would serve as the academic anchor of both. Today's announcement brings us significantly closer to fulfilling our collective vision to drive economic and social impact, advance learning and discovery, and strengthen our communities together. Over the past 20 years, the Innovation Quarter has transformed downtown Winston-Salem, and it is now home to more than 1.7 million square feet of mixed-use space that serves business, research, academic, and recreational needs. It has become the heart of our diverse community, a dynamic place where people from all walks of life come together to collaborate, connect, create, and turn possibilities into progress. With the Pearl as our innovation partner, we have an extraordinary, even larger opportunity for continued growth as we combine our complementary strengths and resources. This is a momentous day for both Atrium Health and Wake Forest Baptist, as what we once imagined together is becoming a reality that will impact the future and health and vibrancy of our communities and our state. We are proud to announce the Pearl and look forward to the exciting developments that will follow. The Pearl is about fulfilling Atrium Health's mission. The Pearl will improve health with groundbreaking life sciences partnerships and collaboration that it will cultivate. The Pearl will elevate hope as new research is brought forward that will cure diseases, save lives, and change lives. And the Pearl will advance healing by educating the next generation of the finest medical minds who will be difference makers. Partnered with the Innovation Quarter in Winston-Salem, there are no limits to what we can do together. There are endless possibilities that we can make a reality for all.